Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, my name is Pang Xin from Xianjiang University from China. I appreciate the opportunity to be here today to attend the inter international conference. My report is uh, MEMS pressure sensor based on piezoresistive effect on, of molybdenum disulfide film. The report is divided into five parts. Uh, the first part is the uh, research background. As we know, uh, sensors are the key device for obtaining the information. Have been widely used in robot, advanced, advanced equipment, automobile, and uh, smart wearable. In recent years, with the uh, increasing processing of semiconductor, more requirements have been put forward for sensors. For example, air performance sensors, air integration, and uh, more applications. Therefore, uh, to research the MIMS and the flagpole sensors is important, and we should develop more advanced materials for MIMS and the flagpole sensors. Relative to the traditional materials of silicon and uh, aluminum, a molybdenum disulfide not only has similar, similar or hair periodicity factor and a wide band gap, but also has excellent electrical, optical, mechanical uh, properties, and uh, chemical stability. Therefore, molybdenum disulfide used to develop the flagpole sensors and the high performance MIME sensors, which have a wide range of applications and uh, important significance. Because of the excellent piezoresistive properties, in recent years, some researchers have uh, also began to investigate the applications of molybdenum disulfide to mechanical sensors. For example, uh, this figure uh, shows a measurement of a piezoresistive factor of 2D molybdenum disulfide. It mirrors the piezoresistive factor of a single, double, and uh, trip layers. And the results show that uh, molybdenum disulfide is uh, compared able to, comparable to, to uh, silicon. This picture, this picture shows a uh, uh, package in the uh, sensors, and this shows a uh, flagpole pressure sensors, and this one is a flagpole sensor. They are all used the uh, molybdenum disulfide. Uh, in addition to these flagpole sensors, it can also be used to uh, develop uh, MIMS sensors or ragged subject subject. The development of oops, sorry. The development of these sensors provide provides the applications potential of molybdenum disulfide in the development of pressure sensors. From the papers, we can see that the previous four sensors for molybdenum disulfide are all of them based on two D layers. This molybdenum disulfide is usually obtained by mechanical. Uh, exfoliation, liquid phase exfoliation, uh, electrochemical and uh, CVD. They are complex to prepare and uh, have a poor precise compatibility. However, we have prepared uh, vertical nanoshades of uh, molybdenum disulfide uh, using a, a magnetron sparching method. And uh, for the first time, we found the, that this material has a piezoresistive effect. This method has a simple process, a uh, more substrate, substrate selectivity and a high uh, compatibility with MEMS. We use a uh, sparking to uh, mod uh, modulate the film growth progress and uh, uh, micro, micro nano strut, and we obtain the vertical, vertical nano shades of molybdenum disulfide with piezo effect piezoresistive effect, which enable a uh, large area, a uh, large uh, high quality competition and uh, at a uh, wafer level. Uh, the uniform surface of the film can be seen in the SEM photo, and the structure is uh, in a vertical nanoshade as can be seen from the cross section photo. In order to research the piezoresistive effect of vertical nanoshades, Firstly, we investigate the uh, conductive uh, mechanism. 
we analyze the conductive of vertical nanoshades with the various thickness. We control the uh, deposition time to increase the uh, content of nanoshades. Mm. We contain the partition time to increase the content to the, the content of the nanoshade. Uh, that means uh, the thickness. It can be seen that as the vertical nanoshade content increase increase its re re resistance decreased and uh, its conductive increased. Moreover, the resistance uh, decreased uh, rapidly when the uh, content of uh, vertical nanoshades is increased uh, from 30% to 40%. This is because when the vertical nanoshades content is low, the spacing between nanoshades is large and the uh, ele electron jump is difficult. And the resistance is higher uh, with the increase in the content of nanoshades, the distance between nanoshades uh, decreased. A conductive network is formed and the electron jump is easy. And the, resi and the resistance is rapidly, rapidly reduced at this time, uh, which shows the seepage groove of the thermal effect model. However, with the further increase of vertical nanoshades content, the resistance are no longer change in significantly. This is due to the uh, fact that at this time, with the vertical nanoshades content beyond seepage thickness, uh, the chance of content between the nanoshades increase greatly, forming a well-built contactive network. The resistance tend to stability, which is consistent, consistent with the uh, conductive range. Uh, in the above research, we propose the piezo-resistive uh, mechanism of uh, molding that so far the vertical nanoshades. Tension or compression causes the spacing between the nanoshades to change and uh, therefore the conductive changes to ch uh, ch uh, channels to change. A tension uh, causes the spacing between the nanoshades to become larger and the conductive channels to decrease and uh, the resistance increases. Uh, conversely, com compression, the, spa uh, the spacing between the nanoshades become smaller and the conductive channels uh, increased, resulting in the decrease in the resistance. In the third part, we developed a MEMS pressure sensor for more than that that's far based on a, a secular flight member uh, structure. First, we built a, 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 a mechanic, uh, we, we, we built a model of the sensor chip or to analyze their stress uh, distribution. The arrangement of the resistor is like, the, like this, the, the, the left picture. The, we design the size of the resistor. Finally, the structure and the size of the chip designed and show in the right, in the right figure. The circular flight member, membrane has a that uh, the diameter of the uh, diameter of uh, two millimeter and a uh, thickness of uh, eighty six uh, micro. Then we simulated the sensor chip use. Oops, sorry. Well, we simulated the sensor chip use a uh, console and uh, calibrated the structure of the chip. The, the results show that it's safe. The next step is the process of the sensor chip, and the main processes are a thermal oxidation of silicon, uh, deposited electrodes, uh, deposited molding disulfur, uh, photoresistor masking, and uh, dry etching. This is a this is a photo of the chip wafer, wafer and uh, the fabric fabricated chip surface. A nice way. I package the chip of the sensor. We use a, 
uh, a centered seat and a shared package. This is the structure of the package and the obtained sensor. Uh, this is the obtained sensor and uh, the, the chip. Finally, we package sensor was uh, uh, tested. The performance are uh, performance are uh, the measurement uh, range is uh, zero to five MPa. The whole output is thirteen point four, and the sensitivity is uh, two point six eight, and the linearity is uh, three point one one percent. The repeatability error is uh, one point seven five percent. Uh, hysteresis uh, error is uh, 0 0.74 percent and the accuracy is 3.64 uh, percent. In addition, we fabricated a fla flagpole screen sensor with a uh, modern data card. Fourthly, we developed a, uh, a flagpole sensor uh, for bionic wings. We fabricated a pair of wings using flagpole PI film and uh, uh, deposited the electrodes and a module on the uh, sensitive part. Here is the review. Uh, and uh, this is the, the result. We can see the radio, and that means we can get the flight uh, parameters in real time. And also, uh, we flagpole, we fly, uh, fabricated the flagpole sensor for human movement monitoring. It can be detect the muscle expansion and uh, contraction uh, during human movement. Uh, the last part is uh, conclusion. We can uh, get four points. Uh, the first one is uh, the pixel resistive effect of 3D molding disulfide vertical nano sheets was discovered. Mm. Uh, the second one is the piezo resistive uh, mechanical uh, mechanism, uh, mechanism uh, is uh, elucidated. Uh, the third one is uh, the developed uh, MIMS pressure sensor for molding disulfide. Uh, uh, more than that so far film. And the last one is the flagpole sensor was developed with more than that so far. Uh, that's all, thank you for your attention.